Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alessa, and today we are gonna talk about how to be confident. You guys already know I love to do these kind of sit down advice videos, so I figured today I would just share my best tips for boosting your self esteem and just becoming a more confident version of yourself. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, for a good portion of my life, like from childhood up until turning 21, I had really low self confidence. I was always posting pictures and dressing in these flashy outfits, but I feel like it was all just to cover up the fact that I was super insecure, but I can definitely say that now I am the most confident I've ever been. So I just wanted to sit down and share with you guys the best things that I've done that have gotten me to this place. So the first thing that really boosted my self-confidence, and I would say the thing that was the most transformative for me was inner work. And if you watch my videos, you've definitely heard me talk about inner work before. In my personal opinion, I think that when we're born, we kind of come into the world as a blank canvas. And for a lot of people, including me, it's usually an external force like parents, friends, family, family or social media that kind of come in and create these feelings of shame and insecurity. Using myself as an example, I was a super confident kid. I fully believed that I was going to be the next like famous singer, dancer, YouTuber, and my light was really only dimmed when other people started to belittle me or laugh at me or whatever the case may be. I think that if we all had the benefit of kind of growing up in an environment where we felt supported, encouraged, and uplifted, a lot more people would feel super confident. But of course, that's just not the case for everybody. For me, I remember being a kid and constantly hearing people in my family talk about their weight and going on diets and wanting to lose weight. So because of their actions and negative self-talk, it taught little Alessa that she needed to be a certain body type to be attractive and that if she didn't have that, she was ugly or she just wasn't worth it. And the more experiences you have like that, the more these deeply ingrained negative self-perceptions can become. So how do we fix it? Well, one thing that's really helped me within the realm of inner work has been shadow work. I find that for me, it's really helpful to go and reflect on myself and find those parts of me that I try to hide or that I'm ashamed of. And the more I reflect on that, the more I can kind of discover where that insecurity came from and who made me feel that way. I do most of my shadow work through journaling, but sometimes if I don't feel like journaling, I really like to just take my phone and record a voice memo because it's almost like having your own podcast. So I'll kind of just talk about whatever I'm feeling for as long as I need, and then I can always go back and listen to it. But if you do like journaling, I actually recently just put out a mini journal prompt kit on my website and I basically wrote and put together over a hundred journal prompts that I thought would be really helpful for you guys because they've helped me and one of the pages in the little kit is specifically dedicated to shadow work and there's about 25 prompts on there so if you want to get access to those they are on my website you just have to subscribe to my newsletter and then it'll automatically send to you and the link to my website is always in my description of course I do have other tips for you guys on how to build your confidence but inner work is just where I'd start because I feel like everything kind of comes from within. The next tip I have for you guys is to change your consumption. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this quote, but it really resonates with me and it's comparison is the thief of joy. I've heard that quote before, but I was recently watching the Dropouts podcast and Zach said it again and it kind of just stuck with me. So I wanted to share it with you guys. But seriously, if you're having issues with your confidence or your self-esteem, start to look at the people and the content that you're surrounding yourself with. Are you following people on social media with seemingly perfect lives and comparing yourself to them because if you are no wonder you're not confident and that's not a read but I do want to point out that you're comparing yourself to someone's pre-crafted version of the reality they want you to see and guys I am certainly guilty of this too honestly something that's really helped me was just cleansing my social media of people and content that made me feel like shit if I notice that I'm scrolling and I'm just comparing myself to other people thinking like oh she's prettier or this person has this I literally unfollow them I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that I completely stopped comparing myself to other people because I feel like sometimes my brain just does it without me even trying to. But I feel like what's important is the effort. And if you're trying, that's better than not. And if you do have social media, I also think it's great to just add more uplifting content to your feed. I know for me, I absolutely love the holistic psychologist. I don't know if you guys have heard of her. And if you haven't, I'm putting you on. But she has an Instagram and a YouTube channel. And of course I follow her on both. And honestly, her work has changed my life. But now whenever I go on Instagram, which you should follow me on if you don't. I just get tons of beneficial information about inner work and trauma and mental health and it just makes me a better person. I also really love Alexis. I found her channel maybe a year ago and she's honestly changed my life too. So those are two people that I would definitely recommend adding into your little roster. The next thing that helped me become a lot more confident was when I stopped people pleasing. I kid you guys not, I used to be like way too concerned about what other people thought about me and how they saw me. And when I was a really big people 
pleaser, I was really anxious about saying no because I thought I was gonna disappoint people. But the issue with this is that every time you say yes when you really wanna say no or you let someone treat you in a way that you don't wanna be treated, you're betraying your trust in yourself. But I found that when I started to be honest and say no and set those boundaries, I started to feel like my thoughts and my emotions had more value, which is not something I felt before. And every time I stayed true to myself and my desires instead of trying to please others, I felt an increased trust in myself, which in turn boosted my confidence. And the next tip I have for you guys to boost your confidence is to take care of your exterior. I definitely don't think that confidence can come 100% from your physical appearance, but I do know that when I look good, I feel good. And I've always had pretty big body image issues, so I totally understand that when you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see, it does impact your overall confidence. And that's why I talked about inner work first, because I feel like when you have a really big insecurity about your appearance, it usually comes from something deeper inside. But of course there are things that you can do physically to increase your confidence. One thing I know that makes me feel super confident is putting on a nice outfit. And you guys can probably tell that by the amount of YouTube shorts I make of my outfits. But whether it's dresses, hoodies, or jeans, start to think about the outfits that make you feel really beautiful and confident and start to wear them. I know lots of people, including me, who have felt like, oh, I can't wear this because it's too weird or too flashy or too colorful. But here I am giving you permission to give yourself permission to wear the damn thing. Similar to throwing on a nice outfit, I also find that when I do my hair or my makeup, I do feel more confident. And I just wanna say that I don't think you should look at makeup as the end all be all in terms of feeling confident. But I know from experience that a little mascara can make me feel really pretty on a day where I just need that boost. Another sort of physical thing that really helped my confidence was going to the gym. Not only has working out increased my overall strength, but I'm also getting a little more muscular, which definitely makes me feel more confident. But I also find that just the discipline of going to the gym also really helps my confidence. Every time I go and actually get myself into the gym, I'm keeping a promise to myself to be consistent. And when I show up for myself, I believe in myself more. And even if it's not going to the gym, I find that just keeping your promises to yourself does make you feel more confident in yourself. But if you are looking to start working out, I actually made a video called How to Start Your Fitness Journey, and it has all of my best tips for getting started. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But at the end of the day, I feel like we all just need to start treating ourselves the way that we want to be treated. And I know it can take discipline and effort and hard work, but you deserve that. And I found that for me, the more self-love I have, the more confidence I have, and then the more confidence I have, the more I love myself. So it's kind of like a cycle. Hopefully that made sense. And the last tip I have for you guys to increase your confidence and kind of boost that self-esteem is to push yourself out of your comfort zone. I definitely used to be that person who would just live in their box of comfort if they could. I used to be so scared to advocate for myself or ask for things. And I found that really pushing myself and challenging myself to come out of my comfort zone has really made me confident. To give you guys an example, I mentioned in my last video that I recently got a new job and I was really happy that I got the job. But the one thing that I wanted to ask was if there was any wiggle room on the wage. Alessa just felt like she could get a little more per hour. And I wanted to ask if there was any flexibility on the wage, but I was literally just like so anxious. And I was like, oh, what if they hate me? Like, what if they think I'm rude for asking? So I could have stayed in my little comfort zone and just accepted the wage that was offered, but I decided to push myself and just call and ask. And after I did it, I was like, oh my God, the world isn't over. But whatever area it is for you that you feel like you really wanna grow in, try to set some little challenges for yourself to push yourself out of your comfort zone. And I promise you it'll be worth it. But anyways, guys, that is gonna bring us to the end of today's video and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did like the video, feel free to give it a little like or a comment or a subscribe if you're feeling funky. And if you didn't like it, like it anyway. Anyways, guys, I won't keep you any longer, but as usual, you already know, I hope you have a great day, a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.